All right, how are we looking? Perfect. Reset the link there, send a couple text messages. I will get closer in eventually. I don't believe much has changed. Uh, erosion's definitely worse than yesterday, but I mean, that's, that's the name of this game. It's gonna look worse every day until summertime when there's no more rain. I sacrificed a chicken, hopefully that makes the, uh, the feed a little better. So that's the auxiliary spillway right there. And all that. And it's flowing, you know, down right into there. Like, that is the entirety of it right there. Auxiliary spillway. Uh, yesterday, they changed the name from Emergency Spillway to Auxiliary Spillway. That happened just yesterday. Uh, my phone is zip-tied to a stick. I hope that works for everybody. I keep zip-ties with me. Paracord, zip-ties, I'm good to go. Uh, yeah, exactly. Auxiliary spillway. Scam. It's all about perception these days. You know, they're uh, they're massaging a public perception of this event. I mean, if they say everything's fine enough, then, I mean, everyone's going to think everything's fine. I'm not sure. Maybe 40 miles, 30 miles, 20 miles, 30 miles. I'm going to move. I'm going to move some here. Hold on. Sorry. Is that okay? Oh yeah, the, the main battery is already dead, unfortunately. Um, yeah, 18 minutes into my first video today, there's an amazing uh, landslide to watch. Uh, they said it wouldn't overflow the emergency spillway eight hours before it overflowed. Uh, they, are, they are just not, you know, not telling the whole story. Yeah, 18 minutes into my first video today, there's an epic, giant landslide down here, and it turned this all just crimson, just super amazing, like a glacier uh, calving off. I'm gonna turn it just a little bit. Boop. Boop. There we go. This is the best view out there. No new Jason G that has anything like this. Why? I don't know. They are disconnected, I believe. So the power lines up there are not disconnected. Those ones, not disconnected. These ones, I believe, are disconnected. Yeah, this, this water actually joins the Sacramento River right above the, um, uh, the 
airport, the Sacramento airport. No, uh, Shasta is way, way north of here. Uh, maybe three hours. Excellent. Glad the feed's better. Let me know and I can restart it whenever. I just, I'm in my mind, I'm thinking all these people watching are just going to get kicked off and not, not connect back up. But if people want to, they can just connect back up. Yeah, the uh, the local dirt out here is, is pretty much orange, orange red. Uh, so down here is where the water's building up, and what it's doing is that's the dam right there. That's the power plant. So water comes out of here normally, but because this has blocked up all this up, it's actually created a higher level of water right here so they've had to shut down the power plant um, which is terrible news for next week um, but what they're doing right now you can hear the construction equipment um, they are trying to uh, clear out down here I, I bet that equipment's right down here we'll try and go see it in, in a little bit um, they are trying to clean this out as fast as possible to get the uh, power plant back up and running because that's that's how they're going to save the dam I'm going to go grab another uh, beverage. I'll be right back.
like you say, I keep I keep a couple of the craft beer and the brave creators. Oh, oh, any of it. Those are dynamite. Keep a couple of those things in the fridge. Mm -hmm. You can have some happy girls, dude. <laughs> Which is the most important thing. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. They sell this once a year and it sells out instantly. Is it a pale? Is it a backwards master? It's a barrel aged um, Scotch ale. Okay, gotcha. And they, they release in September. Nice meeting you, man. Give it a little bit of a sticky can. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, this is in uh, out back east somewhere. Uh, Wisconsin. Wisconsin, yeah. I hear, I hear it was super duper nice. All right, everybody left. It's just us now. Latest beer is a uh, Founders Backwoods Bastard. Pretty much my favorite favorite beer right now. Founders beers are super good. They just made it to the East Coast. Uh, maybe last year was the first season, and uh, this particular beer, the entire North State got seven cases, from what I understand. And I was I was able to enjoy as much of that as I possibly could. I'm down. I mean, I am totally down. I actually spent I spent uh, probably two hours yesterday up in these hills back here on a, on a quad uh, trying to get access. I went down every little finger up here, but the problem is there's a bunch of tweakers up there. Uh, squatting on land so what they do is they gate off public roads and uh, put up no trespassing signs and I'm just not not brave enough to go past uh, even if I, I know it's a fake not legit trespassing sign I'm just I'm not into that I'm not looking for that kind of trouble came upon a guy yesterday that uh, was I mean mid tweak he was squatting on some land in a beat up, beat up old trailer. Just there's some there's some crummy people up there. I'm gonna move this camera one more time here so I can see what people are saying a little better. There we go, all right, much better. Bam. So if you, if you keep watching this area right here, you will see giant landslides. Two have happened, two have happened just since I've been recording. Uh, is ARFCOM on here? Anybody? Uh, you know, I was actually thinking of putting on a blaze, uh, blaze yellow vest and a, a blaze yellow hard hat and uh, just walking right on through. I guarantee that would work. Oh yeah, that's what I need to see. 
Let him fly. Weapons released. All right, good. Uh, they are able to control the water through the spillway, the main spillway, right here. But they're keeping it super low because this keeps happening. And they have to, basically the goal is to not let this get to over there by summertime. So what they're trying to do is, uh, you know, minimize, minimize the problems. Really big. This is Oroville Dam overflowing for the first time ever. Uh, up here you can see that's the top, essentially the top of the water. There is, uh, you know, 700 feet of water behind this. And it's overflowing just over the hillside and just, just going down, you know, going down in the creek right there. Uh, the drought is 100% over, but the, um, the governor of California uh, still says we're in a drought. He, uh, you know, he must know better than, you know, than everyone else. He's been governor a long time. We shouldn't uh, shouldn't second guess him. Uh, I bet the parking lot is under a couple feet of water. I bet you could walk out on it. I'm gonna have to check that GLP thing out. Is that a local site? I think it might have actually worked for the guy who uh, who runs that site actually at one time. Did some did some computer repair, some printer repair. Uh, my bro dozer absolutely got stuck on Thursday. If you uh, subscribe to my Twitter feed, uh, P S E U D O J D, I will put up pictures of how buried my truck got on uh, Thursday, my first attempt out here, and uh, my buddy had to come winch me out. Uh, it was uh, it was all bad. I was completely stuck. Uh, I rock a, uh, you know, an older Toyota Tundra. It is beat to hell, but uh, it, it, it can go pretty much anywhere unless there's a foot of snot mud, and then it can't go, can't go past that, obviously. I tried. I have uh, some real nice BFG uh, all-terrain, uh, all-terrains. I even aired them down, and even aired down, I was still totally stuck. Buddy had to come winch me out. He was real happy to do it because I've I've unstuck him a bunch of times and he's never had the pleasure to unstuck me, but now he did. So we're good to go. It's all sketchy. Like it's bad. So right, I mean, I should have showed you at the time, but there was a guy in a truck right over here. This is actually plant, you know, part of the plant operations right here. Let me show you a little bit. That green thing you can see. Let me see if I can focus on it over there that's a big old building right there um, I don't know if you can see it but the little yellow thing right there that is an enormous uh, dozer an actual dozer not a bro dozer and if you look to the left of that there's two conexes next to each other the conexes look like uh, little crumpled up pieces of paper next to that dozer just to give you an idea of the scale of all this it is monstrous that green building right there is a huge what looks to be a huge two-story building. Uh, anybody who watches uh, Gold Rush, you know those rock trucks they use? There's two two rock trucks right here. Um, and they're monstrous. Monstrous rock trucks, but they, you know, they are only like a couple pixels right there. Uh, the, the, uh, the flow rate is actually going down. Um, it peaked at... Uh, probably three o'clock this morning for a couple hours and it's very 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 slowly going down I, from what I understand they're still letting people on the lake which is crazy um, I was out uh, yesterday driving around uh, back here and um, there were people fishing I mean fishing 
you know, within a mile of right here, there's people uh, on boats fishing, which is brave, brave. I don't, I don't think there's any danger right now. I think, uh, I personally probably wouldn't go out on the lake right now, but uh, here I am sitting at the base of the spillway. Um, the real problem is going to come uh, next week when that big storm comes. If that's a, it, truly a big storm, um, it's going to be way, way, way worse than what you're seeing right now. I'll try and be back out here uh, maybe uh, um, Friday, Friday p.m., Saturday a.m. The power plant is, is I mean, the, the water on this side of, you know, the water comes out of the bottom of the power plant right there. Whoop, sorry. Comes out right there and then it heads this way. Um, this this is all a couple feet higher, maybe four or five feet higher than normal um, because of all the gravel and stuff built up right here, um, which is all bad. That's shut down the power plant, and which is, is all bad. That's how the lake releases water is from the power plant. Yes, while I was here yesterday, this opened up a lot, that area right there. There's a power pole right there. You can see that power pole is, I mean, that's why, I, I believe that power pole is the thing they're trying to save. Because, I mean, that's next up. If they ramped it up at all, that power pole would be gone in an hour. It's And as it is, it's slowly creeping towards it. A couple feet a day. Oh, the Russians definitely did this. I mean, I don't think there's any question. are we wasting this water? You could say that. I don't feel it's a waste because it's quite enjoying. I think some of you enjoy it. I mean, in my mind, that power pole means nothing. I bet they could whip one of those up if they really wanted to in a day or two, if I had to guess. Like, if they put all the resources on it, I, I bet they could whip that up in a day. The other day, they had probably five or six helicopters doing bucket truck type work to disconnect these power poles. They seriously had five or six helicopters in the air um, disassembling pieces of the second and third power poles down here. Uh, if you look at the videos yesterday, they're on Periscope. All the videos from yesterday are up still. Um, you can see it. The helicopter flies in right above me, and I'm in its rotor wash, uh, practically uh, wetting my pants. Beer supply is real good. I just opened up a uh, Founders uh, Backwoods Bastard. This, this beer really describes me, and it's delicious as well. I just love it. Oh, this is planned soil relocation. Actually, absolutely. This is free demo. I mean, any contractor will tell you free demo is just the way to go. Yeah, the brewery is in no danger. I can attest, personally. Backwoods JD. Backwoods Bastard. I mean, my, my spirit animal is the Backwoods Bastard. It might just be me. Nice. Founders is just, I mean, everything they touch is gold. Uh, so the next storm, the spillway is, this emergency spillway is going to let out way, way, way more water. So right now they're only letting out like maybe 8,000 cubic feet per second over here. This is probably 50,000 cubic feet a second. The next big storm that comes, it, a ton, ton more water is going to come out of here. And this is all going to look, uh, you know, it's all going to look way different. This is the beginning. That's, that's what they're hoping actually does not happen. Um, they spent uh, the last minutes of, uh, of pre-overflow time uh, trying to put in quick creep to make sure it doesn't happen. But uh, I don't know. I'm self-employed. There's no chance I'm calling in sick. I 
I might come, I mean, if the days are slow uh, next week, uh, I might come out here in the afternoon. Problem is, sunset happens so quick after uh, five. I mean, if you could do what I do and you came down here to cover me, I would totally, uh, totally do that, but that's just not the reality. Uh, I'll come out here in the rain. Um, I don't know that I would do it quite like I'm doing now, um, but I have all the gear. I'll go on hikes in the rain, in torrents of rain. I'll, I'll come out here. And, um, I don't know that I'd hang out as long. I fix printers. You know, I'm a printer repairman. I absolutely came out here with an emergency egress. Uh, I would head uh, back into my, uh, what you're seeing, uh, to the right, actually. Um, there's elevation 700 feet up there. We're about 2,000 feet away from the dam. Um, so there's, there's just no, even if the worst case scenario happened, I could, I could be out of harm's way. I don't think I'm in harm's way right now. Maybe I would be. Um, probably. It would be, you know, need a new pair of pants. Um, but I could be out of harm's way, uh, I could run, which I would do, and be, be good to go. Oh, absolutely, uh, I like the, uh, what was that, the 15 pellet, um, 15 pellet double lock, that's, that's the way to go. That's, that's how I roll, 15 pellets, what is that, uh, 38, 38, 15, 38 caliber pellets? That's the best way to, uh, to deal with problems. Was that zero watt? I don't know. I can't believe there's not a single person out here. There's not. I look all around and there's not one person. Where is everybody? What are they doing? When I left here yesterday, there were uh, hundreds and hundreds of people. I could see they were pulled over on the side of the road, just looking at maps, trying to figure out how to, you know, how to get anywhere near here. the other side like work related stuff um I'll, I'll probably stay till my battery dies my emergency battery just got to 75 percent so we've burnt up 25 percent of that where did the water come from please yes i'll, I'll eventually i'll go down there uh so you can get a better view of where the uh emergency spillway uh meets the actual you know what is technically the feather river I'll, I'll go down there and check it out before my battery dies um but i'm you know a little lazy so uh, i only want to hike down there once yeah this coming week is going to be very interesting i can guarantee you the authorities are uh, hoping and praying There's definitely no drought. Every lake in the North State is uh, essentially 99 or uh, 99 to 101% full. This lake is technically 101% full. Never happened before. Yeah, for real. That's, I mean, an instant river right there. That's, uh, they're saying that's about 6,000 cubic feet a second. I don't, I don't know what river to equate that with. I guarantee any fish down there are just scared to death or just gone. This is definitely cray cray. I saw this overflow yesterday morning. I hiked out here at sunrise. And this all right here, I watched it go from dry basically to white water. It took a couple hours. Pretty pretty fascinating. This like took a while. It took a while for that to build up. Down here, uh, people were doing the math, so that's 1,700 feet from there to there, 1,700 feet, and a foot and a half. I, and I don't know the flow rate, but that's, that's a lot of water. But you can just look at it. They say, they say, and you know, I don't know, they say this is um, uh, 50 or 60,000 cubic feet a second. So, I mean, this is obviously maybe, you know, it seems like this could be one-fifth of that. That's not a big stretch. But the problem is going to come next week. 
when this overflows with say 50,000 cubic feet per second out here or a hundred I don't really know um, but if a hundred thousand cubic feet come over here this this is all gone there's no zooming on this app unfortunately um, this is you are looking directly this is the emergency spillway so this is the actual spillway right here this all of this land right here is the emergency spillway it's not like a thing the news the news was saying earlier that they opened the emergency spillway um which is that's a giant scam it just you know it, it overflowed Oh yeah, they changed the name from yesterday. They, it, uh, prior to yesterday, it was the Emergency Spillway, but yesterday they changed the name to the Auxiliary Spillway. Yeah, they renamed it yesterday. Calling it the Emergency Spillway was bad, so they changed, you know, Auxiliary Spillway. Totally better. No, no panic. No need to panic. You sure can. Sacramento is just a giant bus station of a town. I hear some decent powered equipment down by my shore of the river that is monstrous. I don't know what it is, but it is just an enormous piece of decent powered equipment. There's no zoom, unfortunately. If, uh, if you want, I can click on a certain part and it'll focus it. Like here, I'll focus on the, the real spillway right there. Oops, sorry. Yeah. The lake has technically gone down inches. Uh, no, no, I have not gone down by the dozer yet. They can handle more I don't know how much more but the problem is they need to manage this for the next four four months or so uh, I mean they were saying that there's no more erosion happening right here but uh, yesterday this was a lot there was a lot more dirt here today there's a lot less twice today I've seen huge faces of this have into the water as long as people on here have seen it uh, huge mud flows just go in like tens and tens hundreds of cubic yards so I mean they're they're not being totally uh, they're not being totally honest they were saying there's no back uh, erosion but I personally saw up here yesterday this is eroding backwards no one can tell me different you can look at the first video I posted yesterday right here where that power pole is and and just watch it just get eroded all day so they're they're not being 100 percent honest Whew, the water is blowing off the uh or the the wind is blowing off the uh the spillway and it's it's cold I'm gonna go put on my hoodie, I'll be right back. Ah, all right. 
Let me pull this up just a little bit. There we go. Oh yeah, this is deluxe. Wish you could see my setup here. I'm kick, kicked back in a chair just staring at the screen and the view, of course. You can see those people were just here. They're walking down there. Yeah, from what I understand, it's still uh, it's still pretty darn high. It's only a few inches uh, lower than that. No sandbags needed over here. Uh, no, the spillway gates do not need dam power. The problem is the power plant is how lake water gets out of the bottom of the lake. So the minute the minute the water is at the bottom of the gates, the spillway gates. They won't be able to let out any more water, which in the winter time, that's a nightmare scenario. Like that is just full on nightmare status. Yeah, there's no, like people were saying when the hole originally happened, they need to just dump some concrete in it. This was last Tuesday. Um, the reality is at that point, it would have taken 2,500 dump trucks of concrete um, to fill up, which is, that's just not reality. Like the minute the spillway broke up on Tuesday, this was all a cold equation. This is all guaranteed. Everything for the next four months was just destined to happen, and there's just not any way around it. Oh yeah, huge drought, as you can see, huge drought. Oh yeah. Too bad though. <laughs> it's like a train wreck. It's amazing to watch, but it's not not good. Yeah, yeah they said it wasn't gonna overflow eight hours before it overflowed, so they you know who knows what they're talking about. Backwoods bastard. Fine, fine beverage. That would actually probably fill the hole. A little a little concrete and one Michael Moore fix it right up. Absolutely it's in danger. I believe that's the main reason they're it's one of the main reasons they're holding back the flow. But Founders, anything they make is really good. I haven't had a bad beer from them. You can see it's all red. Something just happened there. I'm going to have to go back and mark that. Something just fell in right there. See how it's all red down there? That just happened. Like, that was that was all white a second ago. Oh, like, that. some land just caved in right now. It happens every once in a while. A big bunch of land will cave in and it'll all turn red. DWR was saying that isn't happening anymore. So, like, you think, like, in the summer they're going to fix it somehow? Oh, they have to. They yeah. have no, absolutely no choice. I wonder how much it's going to cost. Yeah. All of the monies.
uh, I, I would very much suspect they're clearing out the gravel so this has filled up and it's caused water back here to back up which caused the power plant to shut down so this needs to be clear for the power plant to run which is uh, you know obviously the power plants in a uh, not in the optimal spot if it goes to 150 it's catastrophe I, I don't really know but hopefully that doesn't happen you're looking at one-third of 150. The, uh, the news isn't covering this as well as they should, in my opinion. Yeah, it's debris. It's they got to clear that debris out before they can start up the power plant. Before they can even begin to even fix the power plant. We don't need news agencies anymore. We don't need news people. Decentralized news right here. You got it. 10 millimeter, best millimeter. Power plant's been turned off for at least a couple days. Nate D out there. Hello. What's up? All right. Angle towards the dam. We got the news team watching this? Is that the news team out there? So there's the dam. Uh, there's the dam. It's, it's monstrous. Uh, the power plant is down here. The, the bottom of the power plant is uh you know it's submerged that's that's what's up um and that's caused because the, the all the gravel and stuff here has backed up this water this is a static pool basically that's just getting higher and higher the feather river goes that way this is its inception point basically that way Og dog dog Oh yeah, uh, there's people from Turkey, Holland, UK, pretty much everywhere. News team represent. It's funny, you guys would be proud. Uh, the media is not covering this at all. This is the best footage of the event shown, basically. type helicopters. Why the news trucks aren't here right next to me. Like, they should be sitting right here next to me covering this. I'm in the very best spot there is, and they're not here. Um, I'm going to walk down there before I leave. Um, you know, keep, keep watching. Before I go, I will walk down there. See, uh, I'll give you a much better full screen view of this right here because this is crazy 2013 um, doing work right where the hole opened up so obviously whatever work they did uh, obvious to me at least uh, was not done you know totally good a little wind here shaking my stick with zip ties on it sorry uh, some people up up in this forum or whatever this is are uh, just talking about I joined Periscope to make this broadcast, so I hope you appreciate it. I'm not I'm new to the uh, the whole thing. make America great and then keep it great. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Excellent. Well, I I appreciate that. Nothing bad against them. Absolutely. Can block you. If you keep it up, I'll just block you.
Is the video feed working? Sorry. I'm in an area with terrible cell reception. If it doesn't get better, I'll restart it. Well, thank you. So are people seeing video? Yeah, to do that, I would have to stop this feed right now. So I, that's just not going to work, unfortunately. I should have done that earlier. At Comcast.net. Pro Ryan. Professor Ryan. There's a visitor's uh, view, uh, visitor center, but you can't see any of this from there. Uh, yeah, a uh, uh, male and female just went by on a, a quad. I brought good beer. Fire Chief. I don't know who that is, but hello. Friend of a friend. Who you manufacture? Or is that, uh, should I not? This is absolutely going to be 